everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com. In this video, we're going to add applications to our Wacom tablet properties so that we can change how our tablet operates in different applications. But first, make sure you check out my free video series available on my website for workflow management. We're going to start by clicking the little plus button to the right of the application. And you'll notice that this says currently open applications. So we're going to practice with Google Chrome for now. And I'm going to select that. And if an application does not show up here that you wish to utilize, you can just click browse or just make sure it's open and it will appear in this menu. So I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, I'm going to make sure repeatedly, I'm going to say this, make sure that the application you wish to, cus wish to customize is selected. Because if you say all other and you sit here and program all of this and then you're like, oh man, I meant to do that in Google Chrome. Just make sure you have that selected. It's going to be the same for the grip pen. If I want to change the grip pen, how it works in Chrome, I need to add Chrome to the grip pen. And I'm going to go, go ahead and say OK. And there it is. So back to the functions and back to the grip pen, you'll see that Google Chrome is now available. Okay, let's jump over to these functions, for instance. So one of the things that uh, keyboard shortcuts that I use most often in Chrome is I spend a lot of time in Gmail. And so I want to be able to compose a message really quickly. I've turned on the keyboard shortcuts in Gmail. Those are in your settings. They have additional keyboard shortcuts. You just have to make sure those are turned on. And one of those keyboard shortcuts is to compose a new message. You can press C on your keyboard, C for compose. If you wish to compose that message, in a new window, as I often do, then it is shift and C. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this express key to automatically set that up for me. So I'm going to choose keystroke and on my keyboard, I'm going to press shift C and I'm going to name this compose. So that will tell me and it will show up on my tablet. That is Compose for Gmail. Another keyboard shortcut that I use very often in Chrome is Control Tab. And what that does is it tabs between all of the windows, not the windows, the tabs that I have open. Boy, that's, that's a lot of tabs in one sentence, but that's what it does. Okay, what I'm going to do is click this modifier, select Keystroke, and I'm gonna press Control Tab on my keyboard. Those are what those symbols are. And I'm gonna name this Tab because it's gonna tab me through my windows and I'm gonna go ahead and say okay to that. Again, I'm making sure I'm doing this just for Google Chrome. And if I go back to all other, do you notice how those changed? Because I can program these express keys per application. So I'm gonna click Google Chrome. I'm gonna go ahead and jump over here to Google Chrome. And I have two tabs open. So what I'm gonna do is, oh, and if I forget, do you remember this trick? If you forget, what express keys you have assigned, you can just press I for information on your Wacom tablet and it will show me right there. That key is Compose and that key is Tab. I can actually physically see it lit up on my tablet, so I don't often need to do this, but that's just a reminder in case you would need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that key that I assigned Tab. And so when I do that, it will tab me or switch me between the tabs that I have open. So if I had even more tabs open, it would just cycle through those. So I'm going to tab over to my Gmail inbox, and then I'm gonna press that button that I assigned Compose, which for me is Shift C, and when I press it, this pops up, and then I can compose my email. And that's just a quick tip for some Chrome keyboard shortcuts. Obviously, you need to look at your own personal workflow and understand what you use more, most often. Again, as I've said in the past, I am a keyboard shortcut fanatic because I believe it saves you countless hours over the course of your editing career. And so it's really important to me. It leads to my efficiency. I hope that you found this useful. In the next video, we'll start to dig deeper into these application settings using Lightroom and Photoshop.